Hi Taurus, so I'm here to do June's generals uh, for yourselves. We are in smack bang in between uh, a lunar eclipse and a solar eclipse, so energies are a bit funky. Uh, they are general readings, I will be back next week and I will be doing the love readings, but if love comes out, love comes out. Um, I'm available for one-on-one -on -one readings, again, uh, my website is in the link below. Uh, also the two question ones where I send back an email, uh, email, email video to answer your questions and if you want to follow me on social media my links are in the description box below as well we are in mercury retrograde i'm a double gemini and double taurus or born on a full moon so when mercury is in retrograde my voice can uh i can stutter i can sometimes i struggle to get my words out so if that happens i do apologize so i'm gonna jump straight in i'm gonna be using my empowerment oracle deck uh for the storyline and i'm gonna be clarifying with the guild of tarot so taurus energy for june drained so taurus who's draining you <laughs> so are you allowing people to drain you because it looks like your energy is starting to fade and it looks like it's to do with other people so they could be blame shifting they could be finger pointing that type of thing um there could be arguments going on around you at the minute but it looks like you could just literally be tired you know we are in eclipse season we're in retrograde mercury retrograde so your energy could just be feeling drained, you could just be feeling tired. The challenge now is to get to this point, which is the trump card of my deck, which is the congratulations card. Um, you've been given your energy wings. It's now time to use the gifts and strengths that these wings carry to provide guidance and empowerment to yourself and others, your experiences, all your qualifications, source to new spiritual hearts and spread your angelic, angelic energy wherever it's needed. So the challenge now is to congratulate yourself. So it could be the fact that you're coming away from this energy. The challenge is to get to this. Um, it's to learn from the, those past experiences. I feel like boundaries need to be put into play. Why is this coming around now? It's almost like you need to give yourself a pat on the back, but you feel like you haven't got there yet. I feel like you have. Why is it coming around? We've got Lilith. So Lilith energy. So it is Lilith is about past abuse, past trauma. She is the divine feminine. Uh, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, you will carry feminine energy. So the divine feminine is about intuition, it's about empathy, it's about self-love and self-care. Uh, Lilith also gives us the power to stand up against abusers stand up against people who are who have drained our energy in the past whether it be past or whether it be present um she can also denote like abusive situations um but it's to gain that strength to get out of those situations or to go back and deal with those memories and those scars that have been left by them traumas so i feel like there is traumas coming up so there could be triggers and things like that especially with the energy at the minute it could be triggering there could be something that's quite triggering at the minute so recent past we've got fertility so some some of our um could be becoming parents so congratulations with that that could be why you're feeling drained you know uh but we do have fertility so it's about it's the empress card it's about manifestation it's about sowing the seeds to a brighter future if you have been in abusive relationships or you are feeling like drained due to past relationships and memories and things like that you are starting to plant the seeds to a better future because you have got the congratulations card there. At present, we've got the crane chakra, so it looks like you are downloading information at the minute. So definitely could be draining if you if you're on information overload. Near future, we've got the queen though. So whether you're a masculine, I drew these cards. They're all female, female because I never intended them to be a tarot deck until I started to look at the cards, and then I channeled a book for them. But the queen, she's got everything she needs. She's, she doesn't feel the need to defend herself anymore. Her sword is hung up. She's got her spirit animals. The book's closed. She's gained the knowledge. The skills are balanced. She's brought some balance in. Um, you know, she's balanced her life. She's the queen of her castle or the king of your castle. So it's someone who... I'm definitely picking up on someone who is building themselves back up from a very draining time. Your power in this situation, Taurus, is divine protection, very much like Aries. Um, you're getting the same cards as Aries and Pisces. Um, your power is divine protection, so you are spiritually protected whilst you take on this pursuit of 
emotional healing it looks like from the past the outside influence is the third eye chakra and conflict so there's definitely been some type of conflict and i feel like it's brought on some kind of inner conflict but within that inner conflict i feel like you need to tap it's time out we need to take time out from this inner conflict and start to work on the third eye chakra see exactly why this has had had to happen why everything happens for a reason and i believe my past which was turbulent which was abusive but it has put me into my purpose to empower uh women to go forward from rape domestic violence emotional abuse narcissism and it's to see that bigger picture of things how can you use that and i'm kind of getting the same influence about the reading with the congratulations card your experiences are your qualifications so it's almost like I'm speaking to masculines or feminines who are rising into their power, who are going to be standing their ground, trying not to get into conflict, especially not self-conflict. But I feel like there's, there's a definite need to... This is all about self. This is looking like it's all about self and growth, uh, which I do like in a reading. Hope so fears the secret keeper. Yeah, see, you, you, your your walls are so hard because of what's happened in the past. You you it's almost like you're hiding at the minute. It's like you've got your invisibility clock on. I drew this as my invisibility clock. Um so the snakes represent the Kundalini, but we've also got the tame snake, the one that we can trust, and we've got we've got the snake that watches our back. So it's almost like you feel like you have to watch your back because of what you've been through in the past. Um you're very much on high alert and it's not healthy for the body to be on high alert see there's the fear going back into the dark night of the soul so at one point in your life you felt seriously trapped like there was no way out um you have started to climb out of that and accept the divine protection accept that these experiences were meant to happen you have got lilith energy around you you've got the divine feminine energy around you which will give you that empathy that self-love that um, self-worth that warrior type heart to keep on fighting and to keep on going through this healing and you're right coming to the sacral chakra so i do feel like the sacral chakra is starting to cleanse so it could be from past relationships it could be to do with um partners um your children parents parents of you the other parent of your child you know, that type of thing. So there could be issues regarding... I'm definitely picking up, like, narcissistic situation. I always pick that up for Taurus. It's always there. Why are we still in this energy, Taurus? The challenge is to get out of it. It's congratulations card now. It's to be able to put it behind us. We've experienced it and we can move on from it. So I'll give me some clarification for Taurus. This could be really past. This could be going back to your teens. Um, triggers of abuse coming up. Parties had a very similar reading. I'll oh, picking up sociopaths and all sorts in parties. So you could have parties in your chart or you could be dealing with a parties. Take it as it resonates. If you are cross watching, this could be your reading regarding the Taurus. They could, you know, it's uh take it as it resonates and leave what doesn't. So the drained energy, why my Taurus is feeling drained. Page of Wands. So you are coming away from that. You could be coming away from Fire Sand, Sagittarius Leo, Aries, Page of Wands. Um, it's almost like you feel there's, an, there's a newfound excitement for the future, but you've got to deal with the past first. Yeah, we've got the Six of Wands, Victory. So you are leaving the past behind. You know, you will be victor victorious in your endeavours. It is about leaving the past behind. It doesn't, it no longer serves you. So the congratulations card as being the challenge is the Ten of Wands. So the challenge now is to drop the past. It's to drop the burdens. The two ever. There's something that you just need to let go of. Let it be an end. So why is Lilith here? Queen of Pentacles. Because she wants you to be in your Taurus energy. She wants you to feel safe and secure. So the, the Queen of Pentacles. She's very much a nurturer. But she's very much self-sufficient. Um, it's independence. This is about independence. Yeah, after a tower moment... So someone could have taken your independence, you know, there could have been control issues in the past, it could have been your parents, it could have been an ex-partner, but there's definitely been a breakdown. 
Um, but Lilith energy is here, the divine feminine energy is here to pick you back up. So the recent past with fertility. So we do have Taurus energy. We've got the Hierophant, which is God, the creator, the divine, divinely guided. So you are being divinely guided in order to sow the seeds. So we've got King of Cups. Could be dealing with water sign passes, Cancer Scorpio. We've got the Storm in reverse. So something that you thought was a blessing, something that you thought was that from the stars actually wasn't. Um, it wasn't a blessing in disguise. Yeah, the moon, it was an illusion. So someone was offering you an illusion. Playing with your emotions. But you know this, because at present you've got the crane chakra, you're downloading that information, the page of swords. So there could definitely be arguments at the minute, or someone could be trying to find information on you, see what you're doing now, or you could be doing that to an ex-partner. Um, try not to do that. Where attention goes, energy flows. The nine of pentacles, see we've got the single independent card. So it's very much about independence and I feel like you're, climb, you're finding your independence again. But I feel like this person in the past could still be trying to find out what you're doing. You know, they won't like the fact that they're like losing control of you. But you are being divinely guided in the right direction. So going towards queen energy, we have the three of pentacles, teamwork makes dream work. So the three of pentacles, working on yourself, it could be working together with a new person. The Seven of Cups, there's options starting to open up. So there's, you will receive options. So the Wheel of Fortune is going to start spinning in your favour because you're doing the healing in the sun. It's time to be happy. Look at that, the Wheel of Fortune in the sun. It's time to be happy. It's time. And the Three of Cups, it's time to be happy. It's time to celebrate. I do feel like some Tauruses are going to step out of their comfort zone and maybe start going on dates. Um, but I feel some of my Tauruses as well are just looking for their independence. It's time to be happy, you know, some like time out with your friends. It's time to do things that you've been stopped from doing to enjoy life again. So your power, divine protection. We've got the devil. So you basically got spirit going up against the devil. And four of cups. So letting go of toxic energy. You're letting go of anything that's toxic and you're being protected whilst you do that. So there is divine protection whilst you let go of it. No more feeling. I feel like the other person misses you more than you miss them. So there could be trauma bonds and things like that here, but I feel like they feel like they're missing out. I'm almost getting like the toxic energy has nothing to feed on at the minute. So be careful of them trying to come back because you're going into queen mode or king mode. You know, so the outside influence, the conflicts in the third eye chakra. We've got the nine of wands, yeah, that's what, the wounded warrior. So your walls are up, you know, you have been hurt in the past, but the third eye chakra, you're starting to see why it's all happening. Try not to get into conflict with this person or with the, with yourself as to why this has happened. Don't be so hard on yourself, I kind of want to say. So we've got six of swords going from storm waters to smoother waters. It is about moving on from turbulent times and the six of pentacles because you deserve balance. Um, if there is a new love interest coming in, I feel like this person wants to give you with time and effort and you're almost like seeing your own worth and that is what you want. You want your third eye chakra. You're seeing things clearly. The knight of cups. You want someone who will bring in like a sincere offer of love. We don't want this flatty energy, someone who's in and out, someone who offers us illusions and, you know, it's not real. So, hopes or fears being dark night of the soul and the secret keeper. The ten swords in reverse, that you can heal from the past pains. So, all them swords that have been putting you back, they're gonna, they are going to start to fall out. So, the sword gets pulled out, it produces a wound, wound heals. Scars, scars make skin tougher. So you are going through a major healing. There is a major healing. Um, at the end of a cycle. So we've got the chariot, the sign of cancer. We're going to cancer on the 21st. Uh, but it is about positive movement forward and making those right decisions on how you move forward. There could be travel um, or there could be, you know, like maybe a short breakaway, that type of thing. We have got the ace of swords. You are seeing the truth of a situation. You could be going towards an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Uh, I've got a lot of water on the table though as well. And the sacral chakra in the outcome, that would have flipper, the five of cups. 
so someone's crying over spilt milk. Well, you've got the two of cups behind you. You might you you might still miss this person, but I feel like it's that it's the other person. Just be careful of the lame ass apologies. Knight of Swords, yeah. So someone could be taking action because they regret something they've done in the past. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're definitely dealing with like narcissistic energy. Just be careful because they might put they, they could very well try and uh, offer you the illusion again. The Five of Swords because they want that power back. They can feel that they're taking that. They can feel that you you're taking that power away from them. We've got the Queen of Cups, so you need to be really intuitive at the minute. You need to listen to your intuition because your intuition is just like alarm bells, red flags. I've got red flags all over this reading. Like seriously, do not do not go back to someone who offered you nothing but illusions. No, because we've got the nine, see manipulation and the nine of swords. So someone will from the past. This is not for everyone, but someone could be trying to manipulate your energy, which is then going to cause you this if you don't stand up for yourself now. The nine of swords, feeling anxious, feeling trapped. Why have I gone back here? What what's going on? So we have got the lovers, so we've got Gemini energy there. We are in Gemini right now. And the Nine of Cups, it's time to be a little bit selfish. It's time to put yourself first. What do you want? I think you're going to have a choice in lovers, and I feel it's from the past and new. But the past is just its just offering you an illusion. So I'm really sorry if that triggers anybody. But I will say, I'll always say exactly what I get. Okay, I'll else. Bye.